think the biggest takeaway that I've learned so far is that by planning my meetings like a half hour to an hour into the start of my day, that morning chunk gives me time to really evaluate, make sure I have everything for that meeting and making sure that I have an itemized list of all of my questions that need covered in that meeting. So then I'm not missing any follow-up later. I used to use block scheduling. I have a happy planner, which I absolutely love. And I, I kind of got away from that. I know Chad's talked about it a lot in um, his future leaders. Um, and so that's one thing I really want to get back um, to doing um, because I think it helps push me to be more productive. You know, taking my time on each call um, during my one-on-ones, I always say, I'm gonna take so much time, I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing it, but I've actually been taking time with calls and I think that's something that I'm definitely going to take back with me. Just continue to pretend like that is the only customer I have for this day on each call. I really challenged myself to start giving the team the whys and the wheres um, whenever they call me with a question, instead of just giving them the answer. Um, you know, I'll often ask them, what have you done? You know, what are your thoughts behind that? Um, and if they don't know, then I give them the where to find. So, you know, in the future, if they are teaching somebody else or if I don't, you know, if they don't know, um, then they actually know where to reference. If it's a training session, we don't just touch the surface of it. We'll like dive deep, 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 which I don't think that we did before. And the good questions like Alex asked, it's the, why do you think, or it's not even why, how do you, how, what is it the reason why you do this? The studying is probably my, my it's probably my favorite thing that I do now. Um, <clears throat> make sure that I've got all my ducks in a row before I pull the trigger on something. Uh, whether it's sending out an email, asking a question, I'll make sure that I dive in deeper than what I have before. Um, and those are things that certainly have to carry on. Just staying uh, organized and, and scheduling out things uh, and making sure that uh, I always circle back around to the guys, even on uh, their personal notes that we've learned about all of them. Getting up and making sure I do something pr productive. I love my notes. I'm bringing my post-its with me to the office. <laughs> I used to go into a one-on-one -on -one with an agenda and I, you know, we have to hit all of these topics. And here in the last two weeks, I've kind of, I've gone into my one-on-ones without an agenda at all. And we just kind of talk about what's top of mind for the team member. And most of the time it's not even work related. Um, that's shortened my one-on-ones, but I've had more of them. Um, and I walk away from them feeling way more uh, connected with the team member and on the same page. More personal calls with people, uh, not calling to talk business, but just finding the time to carve out um, uh, just personal phone calls. How you doing? What are you struggling with today? What can I help you with? And that's been, that's been helpful. So. so I think that it's been really cool to see everybody really come together as a community. Um, it's just been, you know, it's really is the essence of Peterman every day, but even more so right now because there are more opportunities to be able to do such, you know, kind hearted things. Yeah, so I think the one major thing I'm taking out of this uh, leading remotely is the mustache. I'm definitely taking that with me. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm team for it. Yeah, yes. All right. Good.